Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous. This is my only my second um, hangout broadcast on air. So <laughs> I hope this works out, and I hope people come and say hi, and plus us if you're watching. That way we know if you are joining us on the on-air portion or on the broadcast portion. What TV show do we know her from? She looks so familiar to me. That's life, okay. Who's here? Me. Me. Yay. Hey, hey, Harold. <laughs> hey, Diano. Excellent. I was just saying that I'm a little nervous because this is only my second um, on-air hangout on my own. Yeah. So, did you so, did you do you have a circle of people to invite? I did. I did invite okay. some people. Good. Um, okay. Should I put it? I should not put it out to the public yet, right? No. Well, you, you you can no you can broadcast the little red button up in the top there. You you can broadcast that. Uh, I did that. I did yeah, that. The, that little red button. That basically lets people see us talking. Oh, okay. But 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 you don't want to put it you don't want to put it out to the public because you might get people. You, you get people coming in from Trolls, all over the right? world who don't even speak English. That's right. You're right. Yeah, you're more important you get people that aren't it. You don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. So you, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad sometimes. Okay. Well, good. Well, listen. Um, so if you have some people that you think will uh, have some interest, because you know what? We're actually going to be talking to Heather Dubrow, who is an actress. You may have seen her in some, I, I can't remember now what was the name. That's Life, I guess, on CBS. But she's actually on the show called the Real Housewives of Orange County. So she's going to be joining us talking about that show. But her face looks so familiar. I've seen her on just more than just that one show called That's Life. Hey, Kempton, how are you? Hi, Maria. I'm good. I just want to pop by and say hi. I, I'm not a big fan of reality TV, so yeah, I'm not sure I have anything good to say, so I think I will quit. <laughs> I don't oh, want okay. to like, sit there and like, uh, or say I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I totally understand. But she's she's also um, apparently an actress as well, oh, um, okay. a fairly accomplished actress. I just put her name up, and in fact, I'm just going to pull up her IMDb yeah. to see um, the profile. Yeah, her profile exactly. Yeah, yeah. If I can so, look that yeah. up, she. I'm at a drawback because I'm in the UK, so we don't see a lot of this. Uh, oh, you don't things. see really? You don't get our reality TV shows there in the UK? <laughs> we try not to. You can have some reality TV shows years, uh, like years ago, but nowadays, like I, I think the Real Housewives <laughs> or the other shows, I think they're pushing to the extreme, and uh, that's fun. But uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. my cup of tea. Ah, uh, I, I totally understand. I get that. But how real? Are, how real are they really? Right? These reality shows. Yeah, they, they're very. St they're very staged. I mean, yeah, it's it's pr pretty much scripted and uh, with the editing and whatnot. In UK years ago, they actually put people in a remote island and then have them grow their food and whatnot. And that was kind of neat to watch. It's not yeah. like you get score points or win a million dollars at the end. No, I think that's how we got our, um, what was it, Survivor. I think that's how yeah. we started our show, Survivor. That's, but there was that's, a competition. How, <laughs> that's how we started off Australia. It was along yeah. the same idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. That's so that a bunch of con guys. <laughs> well, well, anyway, here she comes. So if you yeah. have some people that um, you think right. would be great in the hangout. See you guys later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Captain, bye. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Hill's got got a whole bunch of people with her already, so you're in oh, the competition. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. in competition. Her show is exactly the same time as yours. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's on right now. It goes from a, it goes on from 11 to 11:30. Her oh, time. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, I think they're Central Time, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, so we're in competition. Well, let's see. Well. <laughs> I mean, who do, who would we have the Real Housewife of Orange County? I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> There's this no this is the celeb yeah, hangout. Yeah. We need to 
care less. Yeah, about we need to we need to put it in the stream earlier in the day, saying she's coming. I think, yeah. Yeah, Let's you see. know what? I'm still. Yeah, the thing with our situation oh. here is you that don't know if they're going to come. We don't know for sure yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> for the most part, we have been pretty lucky. And we've been able to have them sit down, so I really should put it out. But it's the time where I actually say, "Hey, this is who we're having," and then yeah. there's some kind it's of breaking. Yeah, like a car chase on the freeway or something, and then, then they yeah. don't come, and then I'll be like, everyone will be so mad at me. Oh. So it's hard for me to say definitively if they are going to be here or not. So yeah, um, so we're still playing with it. I mean, it's an evolving thing. So yeah, it eventually it'll eventually get real popular. But there's so many people who like Channel Four is there, and a whole bunch of them are there now. Are they jumping in? That's great. Well, That's I just great. Channel f the, hopefully that. They have different times, but it seems like everybody in the West Coast has broadcast the exact same time. Oh, um, Mike Mike is asking who the guests are. Oh, it's um, Heather Dubrow. <laughs> Who's Mike? Mike oh, Mike down. Mike's our Mike. Mike okay, yeah. Yeah, send yeah. Mike down. Oh, so he's, he's, wa he's waging his bets whether he should jump out <laughs> yeah, and here. You can't ask who the guests are, Mike. Here, You've got to come in and find out yourself, you lazy yeah, git. Exactly. <laughs> tell, him, tell, him, tell him to come in. Here she is. Hold on. <laughs> I just get in here. Hi. Hi. What a cute dress. Thank you. Hi. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I explain her how it works? She's oh, excited yeah. to meet the people. Oh, excellent. Excellent. We just started the hangout, go. actually. So okay. we have people, people in the people. hangout. Yeah, you've heard of Google Plus, right? I have now. It's a, it's a new um, social media platform, which is really fantastic. Great. It's a great way to get your message out. There's about... Um, 90 to 100 million users now, registered users on Google's Plus. Wow. So it's kind of like uh, Facebook and Twitter married to Skype. So you have this ability to chit chat with viewers and your fans from all over the world, which is really cool. Great. And then today we have some um, some people in our hangout from Canada, from Idaho, from the UK. Cool. And uh, yeah, if you're just joining us, we've got Heather Dubrow from the Real Housewives of Orange County. That's right. But also, too, I mean, when I first saw your face, not knowing that you were on the Real Housewives of Orange County, I've seen you before. You were an actress. Yeah. You've, you've been on, on TV shows that we're familiar with. That's true. Um, that's why. So that's why she's probably looking familiar to you guys. Uh, yes. Right now. Those yeah. of you watching on air, hey, it's Maria from the Fox 7 Newsroom here in Los Angeles, and uh, we're going to chat and talk Housewives in OC. First of all, I love Orange County. Oh, do you, great. Do you live in <laughs> we do. We live in Newport Beach. Oh, excellent. I lived in Seal Beach for, for many, many years. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's a great place to raise like kids. Once you cross that line that, uh, between Long Beach and Seal Beach, it's like it's a whole different world, oh, I feel like. They call it the bubble. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, my parents are still in Seal Beach, and I, I just I love it. It reminds me of home. I'm oh, from sweet. Honolulu originally, so Seal Beach is like a little Heine grill on the corner. Yeah, fun. Anyway, so tell me about your show. What's going on? So, you know, I'm doing The Real Housewives of Orange County, and um, we actually, did we plug, I didn't even plug the show tonight. Oh, yeah, when is it? Tu Tuesday nights, right? Yeah, it's on tonight. Yeah, 9 p.m. On Except not yeah. in the U.K. Where's my U.K. friend? Yeah, but we were just talking about that. <laughs> Hi, this is Justin. Hi, Justin. How are you? Hi. You guys don't get the show right now, do you? No, I was just saying to Maria, we're at a disadvantage here, because uh, I don't know a thing about the program at all. We just don't see it. Well, you know, I think that you can buy the episodes on iTunes. Ah, okay. Everything is on iTunes now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. My parents live in um, Mexico for half the year, and so they can't get the program because their Bravo is from Canada. Oh, and okay, so, so it's not Canada. I think is ha has the same situation as the UK. That you're a little bit behind the uh, the US in the series. Yeah. So she buys the episodes on iTunes. Ah. Well, my my wife was a real housewife in Orange County. I taught I taught Santa Ana High School at Santa Ana High School for ten years over there, and uh, we had f we had five kids in the we lived up in Orange, the city of Orange. Wow, good for you. <laughs> now we were talking about um, you know the real housewives. So tell us about the show. H how real is it? H how is it um, encompassing your life on a daily basis? Like, what do you guys show? Well, it is real. Um, you know, obviously I am a housewife in Orange County, and I had never seen the show before I joined. So for me, it was a completely clean slate. I formed my own opinions about everyone as I met them, and it's very real. I mean, these are real relationships and real families and issues. And, and your family, you're married, you have... Three children. Four. Oh, four children. I have four kids. Oh my yeah. God. Wow. Four children. Yes. How old and what? What? Age I have range? Um, eight-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. I have a five-year-old daughter and a one-year-old daughter. 
Okay, now I was just reading your profile a little bit. Your husband is a plastic surgeon. Yes, he is. Quite well known, actually. He, he's also um, quite famous in his mm -hmm. own right. We've seen him on different TV shows. Yeah, he was on Bridal Plasty and on The Swan. How is that uh, married to a, a plastic surgeon? Do you get to go in and just say, hey, I want this, I want that done? I do, but you know, it's funny. I'm not a plastic surgery uh, addict, no. I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy a little Botox. I get a little filler when I'm getting thin, but I'm not... Somewhat, well, I, I, would, I think it's best to say my husband really is a naturalist. He doesn't believe um, in a lot. He thinks that, you know, good surgery shouldn't be seen. It should just all be very natural and simple. So I've always taken that approach myself. Um, you know, someday I think if I need a little something, something, mm -hmm. he's definitely he's the man. He's there. Good to have in your backyard. Good. I know. It's good to have one in the household. Your, your husband couldn't make me look like Brad Pitt then, though. Eh? <laughs> I wonder if people come in sometimes and say that. I'm, I'm sure I haven't <laughs> for your husband. Like, I want to look like a certain person. Well, you know, let's be honest. Come on. At the end of the day, beauty does come with, from within. But yes. we all want to feel a little better about ourselves. So if there's a little something that, you know, it, you can fix and yes. make yourself feel more confident and better, I think it's great. Why not? If it's in a healthy way, mm -hmm. right? Um, okay. If you guys have a question, just jump in, okay? Otherwise, we'll just keep talking. Um, in terms of acting, because I know you have been on TV shows and whatnot, are you still, uh, can we still see you on different TV shows, or is The Real Housewives uh, what right you Right now, now I'm committed to doing Real Housewives. Um, you know, I do have four children under the age of eight, so I, it's You're busy. very busy, and the nice thing about doing The Housewives show is that they come to me instead of me having to go to the studio, so that's, that's been very nice, very convenient. But, you know, we'll see. I, I still take little jobs here and there just to feel creative and, and keep my foot in the door. Excellent. Oh, Joe is joining jo us. Joe is um, actually in New York City. Hi, Joe. Joe, uh, for those of you just joining us, we're talking to Heather Dubrow. She's from the show, the hit show, by the way, on Bravo called The Real Housewives of Orange County. Have you ever caught the show, Joe? Well, hi. What a pleasure to meet you. You too. <laughs> What's the weather like in New York? Uh, it's cool. It's sunny. It's uh, brisk out, but fortunately there's no rain and no snow. Very nice. I think it's supposed to be 47 yeah. degrees, and why I know that, I'm crazy. No, I just <laughs> <laughs> Because you are all things weather, right? That's right. That's right. I do the weather as well here. Oh, on the okay. Earlier broadcast, me and Joe and several others. Fantastic. Um, so what, are, what can we expect from the show tonight? Um, tonight's a really, really fun show. Um, I think that the biggest part of the show that people are going to want to watch is... Uh, Slade tries his hand at stand-up comedy tonight. Mm. And Slade is Slade is husband. Gretchen's boyfriend, mm. and she oh. hates <laughs> the improv. And he takes a turn doing stand-up, and it sort of starts a whole brouhaha. Okay. Um, you, you know, my question, you know, my question is: Do people act differently? When there's cameras around, I I just can't believe that they act the same when there's cameras around as they would in real life. You know what, that's a very good question. I think um, I think turning on the cameras definitely polarizes what's going on in real life. I would say for myself and my husband, being comfortable, I, we're obviously comfortable in front of the camera because we've done so much television, but there's a difference between, you know, going out to dinner while someone's watching than playing a role. So I think for us, we were probably more inhibited in the beginning, and I think you'll get to know us and see us relax into it a bit. I would say for the characters and the, the girls that have been on the show for many years, you know, this is who they are. Um, this is their lives. But I would say, you know, having a camera on, and I, I notice there's always a lot of liquor being poured <laughs> liberally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, camera, the cameras are so small that you forget that they're around. I think for me, anyway, you forget that they're around and you just... You just, you're just yourself. I, I really do believe uh, that. I would say I, I mean, look at how that. small this camera is. Yeah, very yeah. small. <laughs> I think it's more of getting comfortable with the other girls. Because, again, I, you know, yeah. for a woman, walking into a group, now you guys are all guys in here, but I promise you, walking into a group of four or five other women is, and I'm a pretty confident gal, but it can be daunting. So, for me, it's like me. the process of, <laughs> you know, getting to know them and figuring it out, and they all had all this history, and... All captured on film. All captured on, on film. Camera. There you go. Well, listen, Heather, thank you so much for joining us. I know you have done. Um, and thanks, you guys. 
for joining the Hangout. Thanks, guys. Yep. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Housewives of Orange County tonight at 9, 9 o'clock on Bravo. All right. All right. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. And thanks for stopping by. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm going to bring Martha over as soon as she finishes. Okay. Um, and just a reminder that Raising Hope is not on tonight, but it'll be it's on been next week because it's, uh, we have Idol tonight. On Tuesdays, though, right? Yeah, it's yeah. normally on Tuesdays. Okay. Lovely. Right. My, my Google talk just crashed. So I'm, I'm, oh, man. I'm dead American Idol. I'm, I'm toasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, hopefully there'll okay. be space. So I'll come back uh, if there's space. Martha Plimpton is coming on. So I think I got to come back. Uh, What's that? I gotta come back. My Google talk crashed on me, so I'm oh, okay. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah. Um, yes, Martha Plimpton is coming. So let me just look at it. Oh, oh, Maria, did, did in in that hangout that we did in the past? So it's like I, I couldn't think of yes? any question to ask there. <laughs> no, I can. <laughs> I know that's okay, you guys. But that was quite cool yeah. because I didn't know a thing about it. We got to find out about the iTunes things, and it caused a conversation anyway. So. Yes, exactly. Maria, didn't we have an interview with the people who won the Academy Award? Yes, we did. Uh, the two Can you put that up? Can you put that up again? You rather, you should put that up and say we had an interview with the oh, with the people right who won the Academy Award. You should repost I, I, that. I think it is up. But let me just find. I know, it. but I mean, you should repost it. Oh, you know, now, that, now it's won an Academy yeah. Award. Okay, hold on. Maria, Martha, Martha, Maria. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Hi, Thanks good so morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure. Um, I know you're busy, and I know you have to get out of here, so we'll just ask you a few questions. But this okay. is Google Plus. This is what we call Google Plus Hangout. Okay. And um, it's really a cool new platform to um, talk with everyone about your show. Mm -hmm. There's about 90 million, almost 100 million registered Google Plus users. Right, right. So okay. It's really awesome. And also, it allows us to hang out with different people from all over the world. Great. Right now, we kind of started to hang out a little bit. We've got um, three people on the hangout, but there's also all these people ha watching the on-air version of this who are not in the hangout, per se, but they're watching. Okay. Um, so, this is a good way for you. If you're not in Google Plus, I encourage you to, to get on it. It's okay. a way to talk to uh, your fans and, and the audience. This okay. is what I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. Thank you. I followed your career since you were in Goonies. Thank so you, yeah. Way back in the day. A long time, yeah. Yeah, back in the day. So um, I'm going to just bring everybody else in from the Hangout. If you're just joining us, hey, this is Martha Plimpton from the hit show uh, called Raising Hope. Um, it's really getting, it's gotten such great reviews. Mm -hmm. They're comparing it. I mean, Modern Family is also a favorite, but it's kind of on the flip side, on the right. other side. Mm -hmm. It's really funny. And you are playing a grandmother? Yes. Hello. What, how did that feel getting that script? You're like, what? A grandmother? What's I know. I mean, it was a little bit jarring, but the truth is that's the joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. They had their, their son young. Oh, no. Listen, so good. It's so oh, good. Thank you, sweetheart. i got to go back on TV. Okay. Go be that on TV. Steve Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve. Can't get away from the camera. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so grandmother, you're like, what? Well, I mean, I, no, I mean, that's the joke, you know. She had her son when she was 15, mm -hmm. and now he's in his early 20s, and he's got a baby. So, you know, the math works out. It's cool. not, it's it's not yeah. out of the realm of reality. It's not in out fact, of the realm of possibility. There are a lot of 40-something grandmothers out there. Soon to be. Yeah, wow, soon I know. To be. Soon oh to my be. gosh! Congratulations. Thank you. I, it was it was tough to wrap my head around that. Cause so there you go. So you know exactly what it's like. I do. That's why when I saw you, I'm like, oh, I had a doctor. Yeah. So, but that's not uh, real life. You do. No, 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 it's not real life. No, okay, not okay, at all. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, so your show is moving nights. Here. Yeah, no, it's not moving nights, it's moving time. Oh, sorry, time, time. Yeah, it's moving from. It's still on Tuesday nights, but it's moving from 9:30 to 8 p.m. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys, do you remember Martha on, um, gosh, the Mosquito Coast? Yeah. Uh, parent, yep. Parenthood? Parenthood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Parenthood. I remember her from Fringe. With I that? I saw an episode of Fringe with, with you, and I think you played a sheriff. On oh, Fringe? Oh, on an episode of Fringe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's where I most recently remember you from. <laughs> um, how, how do you like working on television versus I love the show. I love the show I'm working on. I mean, I love Raising Hope. I love the writing. I love the crew I work with. I love the actors I work with every week. I'm really happy and excited to go to work. I mean, I'm, and then that's, you know, that's rare, I think, in television. Um, so I love it. I mean, the hours are crazy. It's like a 70-hour week. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. But that's because we're working really hard to make a show that's like 
a little mini movie every week. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? We're really trying to make it visually interesting, which, you know, I mean, we work really hard. But for me, it's totally worth it. I mean, I love it. I love every minute of it. No, do you guys have a question? For yeah, yeah, I was just, I watched Goonies like four times. Do you get money each time I watch it? <laughs> That's a good Not question. Anymore. <laughs> it doesn't work like that anymore, no. That is so we unfortunate. Should. I know, we should. I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, Especially Angel. given that I just happened to watch it last night. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, no, I love that. that I just love that movie. It's oh one of my absolute favorites. Movies. So it was like we, we were eating dinner, and she was like, oh, let's watch Goonies again. So we watched that, and now I'm sitting here talking to you. So this is just really ironic for me. Uh, I know that you have an extensive theater background. Yes. How different is it from for preparation for t TV and, and, and theater? Well, in the theater, you get, you know, three or four weeks of rehearsal, and uh, and on television, you'll get very much of that at all. You, get yeah. your, you know, you get your scripts a couple weeks ahead of time, so you can work on them, but... You know, um, I mean, it's really fast-paced. You know, you're shooting somewhere between 30 and 35 pages in five days. So there's not a whole lot of time. You have to be, like, ready to go, you know, and you've got to do that on your own. Um, and the theater is a completely, it's a whole other, a whole other, whole thing. other thing. Yeah. Do you have a preference? Are they both as intense as each other, or is it a different sort of intensity? Oh, they're completely different. It's yeah. completely different. In the theater, it's all, you know, it's a collaboration between people in a room and you rehearse for weeks at a time and then you go on stage and you have tech rehearsals and then you're performing in front of an audience and your work day is maybe three or four hours a day, um, you know, uh, yeah. and of course, and depending on what the play is, it's either intense or it's funny or whatever it is, you know, but you're starting from scratch each night and, and and fin you know, you've got your There's beginning, middle, finish. and end. Yes. Uh, and, you know, on television, you've, you're working 16 hours a day. It's a completely yeah. different thing. And you're yep. you know, shooting somewhere between 7 and 10 pages a day. So, or, you know, with any luck, you're shooting that much. But uh, <laughs> it's completely different. Yeah. Um, I, I know that you work with young children about, uh, you know, helping them in, in theater. Oh, yeah. For those who are watching, because I know we get people who are watching and they want to enter the field of, of, of theater or acting and mm -hmm. TV and film. What is your advice to, to them? Well, the group that I work with is not really about teaching kids how to be actors or be in, you know, or be in show business. It's, it's called the 52nd Street Project, and it's more about um, using uh, playmaking mm -hmm. and playwriting and, you know, putting on the work of kids who are, um, you know, living in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood in New York City. Um, it's really more about establishing self-esteem and giving kids an opportunity to uh, take pride in their work and their creative lives. Um, but it's not really about training them to be actors. Oh, okay. um, uh, I would say don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid it entirely until after college. Um, and this is from someone this who was someone in who grew up doing it. Young, right, I think actor. I was very fortunate, and my situation is extremely rare. I don't think it's the way it was for me for everybody. Um, it's clearly not. Um, and uh, and I'm, I, I consider my career sort of an anomaly a little bit. Um, I don't think children should necessarily become actors and stay actors all through their childhood unless they have really firm, solid footing at home. Um, but you know what I mean? If you're going to do it, uh, you know, if you're in college or whatever and you something you really love and you really want to believe in be good at, um, I would say just really study hard. Just, be, you know, hone your skills, you know, and, and learn about collaboration and about working with other people and about participating in making something bigger than yourself. Don't mm -hmm. make it all about you, you know, and your need for attention. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of so, the actors that we see today are more interested in celebrity and fame yeah. than, than the, the yeah. skill part of yeah. it. I think if, if, if that's your interest, then I don't have any advice for you. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. So, so Martha, yeah. so Martha does, does that mean that that poor little child that plays Hope has been scarred for life? 
No, not at all. She has. That's what, that's why I said if you have a strong family, you know what I mean. Uh, I think you're fine no matter what you do. Um, and our girls are exceptionally well loved and cared for by their awesome, awesome mom. And uh, they have a very tight family. They're very down to earth. They're very um, good hearted people. Um, so I'm not worried about our girls. Well, good. And they're they adorable too. Them. Absolutely they're adorable. Wonderful. They yeah, are, aren't they? They're perfect. Yes, yeah. I, I got to tell you, I, I absolutely I love the show. I watch it every week. I'm oh, a big, great. big oh, fan. Good. I don't know if you saw the giant grin on my face when I popped into the hangout and you were sitting there. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Well, spread the word, you guys. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. They're, they're not on tonight. They're um, offered to... Actually, we're on off for one, one week, week, yeah. Because of American Idol tonight, mm -hmm. but they'll be back next week. And this ah, is America. That's right. Katy Perry's on the show next week, eight o'clock on Tuesday. All right. All right. Thank Don't you. Forget, raise thank you. Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye bye. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Okay. Don't forget your picture, Maria. <laughs> get a picture, Maria. You didn't get a picture. <laughs> I've I've already been taking screenshots. I don't know what you guys have been doing. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, it's not totally out there now, but but now it is. Yeah, out there. It's out there, out there now. But yeah. <laughs> Did you get your photo, Maria? No, I. You guys no. don't turn on my screen. We were screaming at you. We were screaming. Get your photo. Get your photo. <laughs> were you screaming? Oh. I forget to do Joe it was. There's like, <laughs> you, you know, there's always a part of me that um, is, is shy to ask for that because I know they get asked that all the time, so I always try to be... Like, well, here, here's what you do. Here, here's what you do, Maria. You don't make it for you. You say, you say, Martha, can you and I just pose here so the guys in the hangout can get our picture? Yes. Yeah, it's really clever, you see. Sorry, I should do that. Here comes I Mike now. Look. All the time. Don't worry, it's like, I, I took screenshots, I'll post them up and... Oh, you did? All that. Oh, uh, well awesome. done, man. Oh, Cheers, dear. Like, what would we do without you, man? That is so great. That is so great. <laughs> Thank you. I'm covered between all you guys. I'm covered. Yeah, I usually get them, but I was starstruck. I love that show. You know, I love that show. <laughs> she's super, and she's super nice, too. I mean, I remember her back in the day. That's why I was... Like, she's doing a TV show, and she's playing a grandmother. I was like, what? She's way too young. She's younger than me, actually. <laughs> I've got to admit, really? at first, she's when, she sat, when she sat oh, down, like I didn't recognize her. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> she's like 35. That, that means she's like, what, 20? Jesus. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, she's, yeah exactly. <laughs> halfway through, it suddenly dawned on me. Oh. The penny well, dropped funny. halfway through who she was, and I suddenly th thought, no, nah, it just suddenly clicked. Oh, is that uh, just now? Just a few from, moments from ago? From her younger days, as I was watching you talking to her, and all of a sudden I was looking at her face, then and it, uh, then it something just went in from about sort of 15 to 20 in. years ago, and it's suddenly like, ah, ah, I know the face. Ew, she's done a ton of movies. Ton yes, she has, movies. yeah. Yeah. Awful um, and lot. She's she was actually with the daughter. The, she's related to the Carad Carradine family. Um, yeah, I was like, I saw that. I was like, I thought that was cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Anyway, yeah, I'm glad. See, that's the thing. Is like we never know who's really going to pop in or not. You know, like we didn't think we were going to get her, uh, but sure enough, she stopped by. So that was nice. Yeah, we never thought Mike Downs would pop in, but there he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> so nice of you to join us. I know there's a lot of competition uh, these days for hangouts, so I get it. <laughs> I um I was giving the my dog or the dog here some biscuits, and the thing went over. So I was thinking, oh my god, I need to get in here, and I missed well, it. The dog was more important than us. That's what you're saying. That is messed up, dude. No, no problem. You yeah, just missed two yeah. mega stars. No, no big deal. I'm no, no, no. It's okay because I'm, I'm flattered because <laughs> it, from, from Harold's comment, you know where he said about Mike and Maria went, what well, our Mike? And I think that's, that's ownership for me. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Our Mike. Exactly. Yeah. Um, hey, Maria, what's come it in like? Thank you all for these that. guys fighting over you all the time. Ah, I love it. Thank you. This is. Sorry. Great. Sorry, I haven't uh, moonwalked or break dance for you yet, Mike. <laughs> oh, that was funny <laughs> last time, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, Joe, I'm so glad you got to jump back in. Um, oh, it was, it was touch and go there. So yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. Later. Well, I'm going to probably go as well. I have to prep for the 10 a.m. I'm do I'm reading some comments about um, 
um, a new policy that just put into effect here in LA, in LA County, and it's restaurants allowing dogs to the dine dogs. with uh, mm. diners. Mm. Yeah, it's not really so <laughs> new. I know it's it's crazy, right? But people are up in arms about this. It's nuts. Like some people are really really happy about it, and a lot of people are really ticked off. Like they are just outraged by this new policy. It's whatever, right? But well, they, the the animals expect tips. <laughs> no, they they can join their masters or their people um, if they eat outside on the patio. So, uh, so why are so many people ticked off about it? It's not like the dog in the restaurant, which obviously would contravene health and safety or anything. Exactly. That's what, and it's really not much different than what's going on now. It's just they've kind of formalized the policy that restaurants can do so if they want. They've always been allowed to do that if they wanted to out in the patio, but now they're just formalizing it, really. Isn't that right, Tony? Is that what they're doing? Yeah. You know, a couple of my friends have brought real dogs into a restaurant, but nobody's really objected. Oh, do you know about the dog policy and how they're um, allowing them to, to come into the patio? Yes. It's a silly question, but serious, Maria. Do you have Shetland ponies in L.A.? Do, I, do we have Shetland ponies? No, we do not have Shetland ponies in the restaurant. Because I was walking past my, my local thing here. It was a coffee house, and somebody would, there was a lady sat outside with coffee, and she actually had a you know Shetland sorry, pony Tony, with her. I just realized, that, Tony, I didn't have my microphone or our speaker up, so Tony couldn't hear what we were talking about. That's why. Tony, can you hear? Hello? Hey, Tony. Hey. How are you guys doing? <laughs> You're not pretending How to are work, you? are you, Tony? He's always pretending. No, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah, noticed as soon as you turned the camera, your head went right on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's avoiding me. No, you know I had my earphone on, so I just realized that that's why you weren't hearing anything. No, I was. I didn't hear a thing. No, yeah. see, she didn't have the the volume up, so see, yeah. you have to blame her. But I know you guys don't want to blame nice little sweet, two, you know, goody goody two shoes Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, screenshot, screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so uh, anyway, I'm prepping for that part of the newscast. It's coming up at, at 10 a.m., so I'm going to read some comments, so I have to set up all the comments, so hopefully we have a bunch. I did see quite a bunch earlier, so I'm going to pull that up. Um, so if you have to go, I totally understand, and I'm going to probably start another on-air, or another broadcast at 10. I hang out. Okay. Okay. So cool. mm -hmm. I need like 10 minutes to, to get this all prepped up. You're in control, Maria. Just, just press the exit button. She can't do it, though. She's going to like <laughs> press the exit and get rid of us. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh quest, question before you go, Maria. You know, um, you don't have to say it loud if it's on, um, on, air, on air, but it's purely about the, your on air channel and your associated YouTube. Um, so if you're because you just started this, aren't you? So they go to your YouTube account, which I'm assuming is kind of private at the moment because it's not on your profile. And then, because what Shark has been doing, as you know, is taking them off of his and then reposting eventually at uh, my Fox 11, isn't it? Which is taking yeah, ages. So, yeah, so I have to, to learn how to do that. Oh, I can teach you if you want to know. It's, it's easy. I'm sure Shaka can do it. But it's purely whether you keep... So the moment you end this broadcast, let's say the broadcast was 60 minutes, then 60 minutes later, it's available to go you know, live at the YouTube. It's on, so you, on YouTube, right. On your YouTube account. It's whether you just say public and share it, or as Shark has been doing, is ripping it back down to the hard drive, re-editing, and then putting it back up to my Fox 11. You've so got a fun. YouTube account, though, haven't you? I do, I do. So it's, on, yeah, it's yeah. on there. We did check on the last um, on air that we did. It's on there. So now I have to check on this one and then I have to figure <coughs> out what I have to do with it because he's not here all week. So. Well, now I can help you with that. But the main thing is that you know that you've lifted the 15 minute barrier uh, on the, the. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know you're expert in those things anyway, aren't you? So you know about that. Well, okay. Disclaimer I think I have. So let me go double check. But have you gone back to see if one of the longer broadcasts are actually available and good? Not yet. I'm going to do that after we're done here. Yeah. yeah. Just last tip, and it's, it's quite an important one, is whatever you do, do not try and do online editing with YouTube because we did it with a few other anchors and it's just a nightmare. It just crashes okay. and it's rubbish. Noted. Cool. I'm not do okay. it. Okay. No worries. Hey, uh, Maria? Yes? I'm meeting your buddy Mike Friata for Coffee Friday. You're kidding. So he's back in New York. That's excellent. 
Okay. Yeah, he sent me an email yesterday afternoon uh, to, to say if I was going to be in the city, we could get together. So as it happens, I'm going to be in Manhattan Friday. So we're oh, getting together. That's excellent news. Okay, let, let me know. I'll send him an email as well. He's been keeping in touch since he left. Great, great. be great yeah. if we can help out. Good to know. Thank you. All right, thanks for hanging out, you guys, and then I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. 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 I'm going to press exit now. <laughs> <laughs>